Welcome back, everyone. Today, we'll be delving into the world of OpenVPN and learning how to set up servers for both TCP and UDP protocols. We'll also walk you through the process of downloading the necessary TCP and UDP configurations to get you started. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Section 1, Creating a TCP UDP Server and Downloading TCP UDP Configs. Step 1, Visit OpenVPN SSH Website. Using your preferred browser, head over to the OpenVPN SSH website. Step 2. Accessing SSH VPN servers. Click on the User label, and from the list of menus, select SSH VPN servers. Next, click on the Free label to proceed. Step 3. Choosing server location. Now, it's time to select the location for your server. Ensure that the server supports Squid Domain, and then click on Create User to proceed. Step 4. Creating Server Username and Password Provide a username and password in the corresponding boxes and then click on Create User to create your server. Once the server is created, make sure to copy the user and password details into a notepad for setting up OpenVPN later. Step 5. Downloading OpenVPN Configs Click on the Click Here label to initiate the download of the required OpenVPN configurations. As this tutorial focuses on TCP and UDP, we'll need both types of configs. Step 6. Downloading TCP UDP Configs To obtain the TCP and UDP configs, click on Config OVPN, then proceed to click on TCP UDP Configs. Step 7. Downloading TCP Config For the TCP configuration, click on the JSON label, followed by the Client TCP label to begin the download. Step 8. Downloading UDP Config To get the UDP configuration, click on the EVA label and then select Client UDP to proceed with the download. Section 2. Setting up OpenVPN for TCP and UDP protocols with and without Squid Domain and Payload. Step 1. Downloading OpenVPN and Text Editor apps. Head over to your mobile app store and download the OpenVPN app. Additionally, download a text editor app to edit the TCP config file. Once downloaded, install both apps on your device. Step 2. Setting up TCP without Squid Domain and Payload Launch the OpenVPN app, and you'll find yourself on the home screen. Click on Next, and then select Browse to import the TCP config file from the download folder. Step 3. Connecting to TCP Server. After importing the file, Enter the username and password you created and saved earlier. Click on Connect, and if the VPN asks for a certificate, select Continue to initiate the VPN connection. Step 4. Using TCP Server with Squid Domain and Payload to enable Squid Domain and Payload on TCP, open the Text Editor app, or use a laptop's text editor to edit the TCP config file. Step 5. Editing the config file. Import the TCP config file from the download folder into the text editor. Now, proceed to add the payload as shown using the server IP as a proxy and port 80. Place the host on the server address with the same port, replacing all demo host with a working host. Once edited, save the file. Follow the link address displayed on the screen to obtain the payload. Step 6. Connecting to TCP server with squid domain and payload, Repeat the process of importing the edited TCP config file into the OpenVPN app. Click on Connect to initiate the VPN connection with Squid Domain and Payload settings. Step 7. Setting up UDP server for the UDP server, there is no need for Squid Domain or proxy. Simply import the downloaded UDP file into the OpenVPN app. Enter your username and password, then click on the Connect button to start the UDP server on OpenVPN. Wrap up. You've successfully set up OpenVPN for both TCP and UDP protocols with the added bonus of Squid Domain and Payload Configuration for TCP. Now you can enjoy a secure and versatile VPN experience on your device.